What's up guys, Silly Seven Inc here, and we have Mega Constructs Halo Series 3. So I don't just have one bag, I have Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags of Halo Heroes Series 3. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Okay, so we're just going to open them and then put whatever is in it off to the side and then build them later. So here we go. this first bag we have the Spartan Hermes all right move that off to the side all right next bag oh the cyan elite ultra all right Oh, the micro build wasp. All right. Okay. Ooh, the AC brute chieftain. Okay. The Green Spartan Centurion. So basically, Fred. All right. Next one. It is the pink Spartan JFO. All right. Put them off to the side. Running out of room in my little box here. Who is it? Who could it be? Another Cyan Elite Ultra. Move him off to the side with his buddy. Oh, there he is, guys. The almighty Victor. Victor the Grunt. I'm in the center here. Okay, last but not least, let's see what we get. Oh, it's another pink JFO. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to build these off to the side, off on the side, and I'll be back. So here's everything I got in this figure haul. We have two pink JFOs, two cyan elite ultras, one Spartan Hermes in orange, one Centurion, one Grunt Mule, aka Victor, one AC root chieftain and one micro build wasp so taking a look at the checklist really quick you can see all the figures including the marine which i did not get even though it is a common figure uh don't know how that works i couldn't find any find any there i guess uh if i'm gonna pick any favorites it will probably be obviously victor and the cyan spartan as well as the pink jfo Obviously, those two because they're kind of my colors. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then, obviously, the Micro Build Wasp is the Ultra Rare. Uh, I kind of wish it wasn't like that because it takes up a figure slot. And that could have been an awesome figure. But that's just... That's just me. All right. Okay, starting off strong with the Grunt Mule, a.k.a. Victor the Grunt. So... This guy is amazing. Uh, he's awesome. I love this figure. So, taking a look at his details here, we have uh, on his chest, he has printing, which is the banished symbol. 
He also has printing on his helmet. And uh, his chest piece is made using the gunmetal color, I believe. And he has like a light silver helmet and he is the tannish grunt skin color. He's got a purple plasma pistol and he is holding two shock rifles. Interesting thing about this shock rifle is that uh, Mega actually updated the mold. So as you can see, there's another another clink, uh, pin clip, place to clip it. <laughs> Taking a look at the older mold version, you can see that there isn't a place to clip it on top, which is interesting. So if you tried to put it, put an older mold shock rifle on the grunt mule, it'll hold it. But if you, you know, flip it over, it'll, it'll fall out. So that's interesting. Yeah. Up next, we have the Cyan Elite Ultra. Now this is an amazing figure. I love the colors. They're just awesome. And so printing wise, he's got like that black on top of the helmet and the yellow eyes. If you can see them, if my big fat finger doesn't get in the way. Yeah, the crazy looking yellow eyes. He's got a, um, a purple plasma repeater. I believe that's what this weapon is called. Uh, it's in the Covenant purple. Uh, we've seen this color before. <laughs> The back, you know, it just has like those etching details as well as on the helmet. Like, look at all that. That's a lot of panel lining. A custom figure would look awesome if you filled those in. Maybe with like an, a wash. Even just putting a wash on this figure would make it look great. And also, I didn't mention before, but all the figures have this gray base plate. Um, it was kind of, it was cool when Series 2 had like the different colors. For the Banished and, you know, the UNSC figures. I thought that was pretty cool. And I kind of wish they did it here. But i um, not sure why they didn't. So, yeah, that is the Elite Ultra. And here we have the very hot pink, very loud Spartan JFO. It has the uh, 343 style sniper uh, details. It's got the, I guess, grenades painted. <laughs> or uh, like flashbangs and obviously the gold visor <laughs> the shoulders are the noble six shoulders and uh, the arms and the legs the lower arms and legs are this really neat looking gray like very dark gray uh, which is very cool so yeah that's pretty much the figure there's no weapon details or anything uh, these are blind bag figures, so they don't really put much effort into it anyways. Uh, so yeah, that is the JFO. Oh. Here we have the green Spartan Centurion. Uh, and the only real printing on it is the visor. Um, and I'm going to say this again, like I said with Fred, I do wish they would put a silver printing on the shoulders for the knives because it's pretty important to um, set them apart, you know. <laughs> uh, so he has a black bulldog shotgun, uh, new infinite weapon. And yeah, that is pretty much this figure. This mold has been around for a while. So yeah, that's the Centurion. And this is the orange Spartan Hermes. Uh, AKA Kelly. Uh, so this orange is like a metallic sort of copper almost. And it's, it looks pretty neat. Uh, I, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Printing for this figure is the big fishbowl or the dome visor. Uh, in this very nice looking dark, darkish blue. Uh, the weapon that this figure has is the gravity hammer. Uh, it doesn't have any painter on it, anything like that. Uh, the lower arms and the lower legs are in white. So yeah, here's the figure. And also to note that this is 
using the female body uh, with this new uh, mold piece. New mold chest piece, bleh, can't English. Yeah, that's the Hermes. Here we have the AC Active Camo Brute Chieftain. So, no printing details on this figure, obviously, but it still has some nice mold mold details, like on the chest, you can see right there, the helmet, the shoulders, you know, the thigh pieces and everything. The weapon that this Brute Chieftain has is a gravity hammer in clear, which is awesome. And something really funny is it's an AC Craig. It's a clear monkey boy. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, this is the Brute Chieftain. It's pretty cool. Uh, and I like it. Yeah. So that is the AC Brute Chieftain. And here we have the Wasp, the ultra rare quote unquote figure of series three. So taking a look at it, yeah, the only real printing detail is on these two by two round tiles to represent the engines. And it's in this, in the UNSC green. Uh, some details that are suggested are the guns on the front with these pieces right here. And then there's a little vent in the back. And on the base, it can move around like this. So you can pose it any way you want. And you can also take it off and twist the piece around to make it go up or down, however you, however you want it. So yeah, uh, one thing is I'm honestly not a fan of the micro builds in the mini in the figure packs, just because it takes up a slot for another figure that could have been really cool. Uh, since it is an ultra rare, so you know, ultra rare slots exist. <laughs> so yeah, that's my my opinion on the micro builds they are really neat they're cool i just wish they would have they could have done maybe maybe like a micro build series that would be cool instead of just having a little micro build of a ship in the figures uh but that's just me so yeah that is the micro build wasp if you like what i do here and would like to support my work consider buying me a coffee down in the description below. It's a small $5 donation and you don't have to commit monthly. If you would like, you could do it once or you could do it many times. Uh, I greatly appreciate any support that you give me and even you guys just watching this video is support enough. But if you would like to support me even further, there you go. Uh, but thank you guys, all of you, even if you don't buy me a coffee. All of you are awesome. Thank you. So that is Halo Infinite Series 3. Overall, a great series. Uh, oh, also minus the Marine because couldn't find the Marine. Uh, but so far, from what I see out of these figures, it's a great selection. There's no dull figure here, maybe except for the Centurion, but I mean, it's just because it's, it's the basic green Spartan. Uh, but Overall, my thoughts are, I like this series, it's awesome, and I will try to uh, get the Marine. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, remember to like, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, stay silly guys.